Caleb Hillier Perry, Wikipedia article audio. Caleb Hillier Perry was an English physician credited with the first report of Perry Romberg syndrome, published in 1815 and one of the earliest descriptions of the exophthalmic goiter, published in 1825. Born in Cirencester, Gloucestershire, on October 21, 1755, Perry was eldest son of Joshua Perry, a minister, and Sarah Hillier, daughter of Caleb Hillier of Upcott, Devon. He was educated first at a private school in Cirencester, and in 1770 entered Warrington Academy, where he stayed for three years. In 1773, Perry began studying medicine at Edinburgh. He continued his studies for two years in London, where he lived with Thomas Denman the obstetric physician. Returning to Edinburgh in 1777, Perry graduated M.D. in June 1778. Life Works Perry was admitted licentiate of the Royal College of Physicians of London in September 1778. Perry was appointed president of the Edinburgh Medical Society, and helped to procure its royal charter. In November 1779, Perry became a physician at Bath General Hospital in Bath, Somerset, where he remained for the rest of his life. In 1789 Perry commissioned John Evely to build a house Summer Hill Place at what is now Zion Hill Place. In 1800, Perry was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society. In October 1816, Perry suffered a stroke, which paralyzed the right side of his body and impaired his speech. For the rest of his life, he read, dictated reminiscences, and supervised his farm and gardens. Perry died in Bath on March 9, 1822, and was buried in Bath Abbey. The medical professionals of Bath commissioned a monument to his memory in the Abbey. Perry's doctoral dissertation was titled De Rabi Contagiosa. Perry dedicated the work to Lord Bathurst of Cirencester, a close friend of his father. Family Perry habitually noted down case histories. Using these notes, Perry published Elements of Pathology in 1815 before he became disabled. In 1825, Perry's son, Charles Henry Perry, republished Elements along with an unfinished second volume, as Elements of Pathology and Therapeutics. Perry contributed to publications including the Philosophical Transactions and the Transactions of the Medical Society of London. Notes Perry also researched several special subjects. After Perry's death, Charles Perry published collections from the unpublished writings of Dr. Perry, 2 vols. London, 1825 Perry also devoted attention to the improvement of agriculture, and studied the subject on a farm he had acquired near Bath. He was interested in the introduction of the merino sheep breed into Great Britain. He wrote in 1800 a tract on the practicability and advantage of producing in the British Isles clothing wool equal to that of Spain, and in 1807 an essay on the merino breed of sheep which obtained a prize from the Board of Agriculture. Perry's papers appeared in the Transactions of the Bath and West of England Society of Agriculture, from 1786 onwards, and in the Farmer's Journal for 1812. In 1778, Perry married Sarah Rigby the daughter of John Rigby of Manchester and the sister of Edward Rigby. The Perrys had nine children. 
Their eldest son, Charles Henry Perry, was a physician, and their youngest son, Admiral Sir William Edward Perry, was an Arctic explorer. Perry's daughter Sarah Matilda Perry was a botanical illustrator. Daughter Emma Perry married Sir John Eardley Wilmot, 1st Baronet, and daughter Mary Perry married Thomas Garney. Inquiry into the symptoms and causes of the syncope anginosa, called angina pectoris, Bath, 1799, it contains observations by Edward Jenner, cases of tetanus and rabies contagiosa, or canine hydrophobia, Bath, 1814, the nature, cause, and varieties of the arterial pulse, Bath, 1816, based mainly on animal experimentation. Charles Perry defended and expanded his father's work in additional experiments on the arteries, London, 1819.